Gemini's, this is going to be a 48 hour forecast for July 23rd through the 24th. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys already know the deal. Only take what messages do apply to you and let the rest fly. Of course, if you're in need of a more personal reading, just check out the description box. And if you feel as if I resonate with you, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to the channel if you're completely new here. I hope that I help you in some sort of way. <laughs> but let's get into it. Gemini's. The next 48 hours, how is this going to play out for them? Okay, so... This is going to be a time frame of discipline, whether this is discipline in your eating habits so that you can lose weight <laughs> for a, a trip that you have upcoming or just for health reasons. This is discipline in regards to you cutting back on smoking or drinking wine, especially if you've noticed that it's been impacting you in any sort of way. Uh, this is you also being disciplined in meaning what you say and, and, and saying what you mean, where some of you are going to be really making it a point to prove to someone like, look, I'm not going to keep allowing you to, you know, make me renege on me saying I'm done with you, especially if every time you get back with them, they make you kind of regret you even going back to the connection itself. Okay. There's also a time frame in which Time is of the essence. There could be like crunch time for some of you when it comes to um, making a move on where you're going to live. Or there's like some of you have like a deadline for something and you're going to be really pushing the limit during this time frame. Hmm. Um, what I will say is this is also another thing that I'm feeling Something with like your bones or like someone's back, you guys need to make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself in terms of like um, fixing your posture. Some Someone's back may be killing them and it may be because of posture, but that's a random thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. The first card is going to represent you and your present situation. So we have the seven of wands. So you could be dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo who could be acting really defensive during this time frame. Regardless of the zodiac sign, you could be dealing with someone who's just acting either really hard to deal with or just defensive. Um, or you just feel like this connection is just too stressful, especially with the amount of things that you're putting up with that you normally wouldn't put up with, okay? You may have some things that this person's doing that's a deal breaker and because you like this person, you're interested in them, you may be bypassing it, okay? Um, this could be more so like personal struggles where you could just be feeling kind of um, stressed out by like just random problems coming up. This could be coming from different angles. Let me clarify. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So it could be very stressful, very challenging, very hard to come to terms with some sort of ending here. Or you guys could be stressing yourself the hell out <laughs> because your mindset could be more on the negative side about things. And you could be having like this defeatist mindset where you believe that you'll never have an improvement in your job or you're never, you'll never, excuse me, um, meet new love or something like that when that's not true this is just a mindset when we're dealing with the swords especially this is all in the mind now what actions you can take during this time frame three of pentacles or three of materials in this deck so this is working diligently to get a grip on all different areas in your life so finances some of you, um, you maybe just need to take up more hours if you feel like financially you're needing to save up for a goal and you're not kind of meeting that goal quite yet. Um, some of you who are in a third party relationship and that's not necessarily what you signed up for. It's time for you to take action on that, especially if it's becoming too out of hand and too messy and drama filled. 
this is co-parenting, finding a way to co-parent with the person you may have children with as well. Now, the obstacle or challenge that may come up, I do have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be family. This could be like mother-in-law or like your partner's family or the person they may have children with interfering with the relationship or vice versa. This could be happening on your end. Um, this could just be the entirety of a relationship itself. This could also be a living situation where um, a stable home, you're still looking for that or you're trying to make a home purchase very soon, but you could be struggling with that as well. Yeah, finances when it comes to moving out if you're a young adult or just someone who just wants to move out. <laughs> now, when it comes to the future, what's going to happen in the future for you guys? Okay, I have the five of pentacles. So like I said, examining finances, really trying to find ways to improve your finances, but also some of you may be just really tempted to leave a certain job or leave a, sort, a certain income source alone. Let me clarify. Yeah, we have the hermit card. This could have been on your mind for a while now. You could be feeling like you're just more so drawn somewhere else, okay? Um, you could be having like multiple tests or you did have multiple tests that the universe may have been putting in your way, obstacles they may have been putting on your way to this. Um, I'm getting so tongue tied. You could have had a couple of tests or obstacles that the universe may have been putting in your path as you were like working towards a certain career or while working at a certain job. You could just be feeling like you're done. Um, a lot of you will be also just kind of deep, deep, ah, uh, what? Okay. Sorry about that guys. So some of you could be deep diving or let me not use the word deep diving. Some of you could be thinking deeply. There you go. When it comes to some sort of split up between you and your person, you could be having like. Just moments of where this person crosses your mind unintentionally. And yeah, this could be a process for you to get this person off your mind, especially if this is a Virgo or they have Virgo anywhere in their chart. Now, what I see in regards to the thing that you may have been avoiding, but you will have to face during this time frame, we have the hanged muse. So with this, this is delays. And this could be delays merely caused by your point of view, mainly being off. So some of you could be looking at things from like a one sided perspective, not really seeing things from a different point of view. A lot of times when negative things happen to happens to us, excuse me, we look at it from a point of view of, OK, this is negative. We never rarely look at this as, oh, wow, this must be the catalyst for me to get a better job after I lose a job or a breakup where it may have been toxic, we don't look at it as, oh my God, this breakup is going to be the catalyst of me getting someone who appreciates me or for me to, you know, improve self. We look at it from a negative point of view. So maybe there's a need for a shift in perspective to clear out delays, especially if you've been single for a while or you just feel like, again, things are just super delayed in a sense. But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed, thumbs the video up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.